going to Starbucks right now and then I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble because I was gonna go to Urban Outfitters which is like 30 minutes away from me because I saw that Taylor Swift has folklore merch there and you get like a free tote bag and a free bandana and poster. Anyways, I was like real excited about that and I called the Urban Outfitters that's like closest to me which was awkward. I felt really awkward about that and they don't have it yet so that was sad. So I just was kind of like I don't know what else to do with my day and I didn't want to be stuck in the house so I'm going to Barnes & Noble. But anyways, I've had an eventful past couple days, so I figured I would tell you about them. I have such a bad headache right now, oh my gosh. Basically, yesterday was just a horrible day for me. So today I wanted to like do something good so I felt better. The reason that I had a horrible day yesterday was because the night before, I had like a really, really, really bad panic attack. Like it was so bad. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like it lasted like an hour. I woke up the next morning with like a really bad headache and also I just was so tired mentally I just couldn't even like function and I had to go to work so it was like I had to be a normal human being it's bad basically and um I still have a headache today and then also major TMI so if you don't want to hear this skip ahead like 15 30 seconds I don't know I am like towards the end of my period and I fucking left my tampon in for like almost 24 hours Put a tampon in before I went to work yesterday and then didn't take it out for some reason. You don't need to know this at all, but I'm telling it you anyway. And then I, I woke up in the middle of the night last night panicking because I was like, oh my god, did I forget to take my tampon out? And I was like, no, I would never do that. Like, not me. Wouldn't, me wouldn't do that. And then I woke up this morning at like 10 and went to the bathroom and it was still there. So I have never in my life done that before and I'm sure it happens all the time to people But I've never done that before and it was because like I was at the end of my period So I'm not gonna bleed through it. You know what I mean? Like so yeah that happened basically That's how you know I was not all there yesterday. That's my story about my tampon. My zombie child ate your honor student's brain Okay. Hi, can I get a tall ice white mocha decaf? And can I do the bacon egg bites? Bacon egg bites, that? Yeah. I don't know why I got the bacon ones. I meant to get the kale ones. I panicked. I think I'm like a little dehydrated too. Alright, let's try this egg bite. Those are actually good. Uh, I don't know why, but the smaller size always tastes better to me. They're like really fluffy. I just got done at Barnes and Noble, and I only got one book. Some of the romance books were like seventeen to twenty dollars, and I just didn't. I I just I don't know. I got Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. I've seen someone talk about. I've seen a couple people talk about this on TikTok, and. I'm really excited to read it. Hopefully it's good. It's a YA fantasy. There's only two books in the series, which is good because I don't want to read a full series. There's only $10. I'll read it eventually. Look at the map. We love a good map that I know nothing about and I don't understand. Here's my outfit. Safe Piquet. It just rides up the butt cheeks a lot, but you know. Um, this tennis skirt is from Amazon. It's really cute. It fits so well. And then... I thrifted this, and then this little tank top's from Target. No, this tank top's from Walmart, I think. And then Converse's. It's really cute. It's exactly what I pictured in my head when I thrifted this little cardigan. I am very tired. I'm gonna force myself to read, even though like I want to read. It's just like I kind of would rather be like, like doing a mindless task. You know what I mean? Like watching a movie or something. I'm going to read. Yes. Yes. Look at that. That's kind of cute with the skirt. I like that. I kind of like it.
It's like a few days later from when I last filmed. I'm at Target right now. Surprise, surprise. Where else would I be? I've been on my phone all day and it's 4.30 p.m. So I'm not feeling great. I feel like I'm on the verge of crying. I needed to get out of the house. I'm just gonna like, I don't know. I'm just gonna get stuff maybe for dinner tonight and also maybe like stuff to make me feel better and stuff for me to do that doesn't include me being on my phone. So we're gonna try to find that stuff in here. I'm feeling weird. I feel like I'm dissociating hardcore right now. Today's one of those days like, okay, I've gotten, I've gotten a lot better at being alone. Like I enjoy being alone most of the time, but today's one of those days where I really feel like I need other people and I don't have anyone to talk to in person today. That sounded really sad that I like don't have anyone, but I meant like no one's here with me right now, you know? I'm procrastinating right now because I don't want to go into Target. I'm feeling a lot of anxiety. I don't want people to look at me really, but I guess we're just gonna go do it. today for no reason. My outfit though, really like it. Thrifted this. My jeans are from Hollister. I'm obsessed with these jeans. Hollister jeans never really fit me. They never looked right on me. But these are dad jeans. They fit very well. Highly recommend. I got some watercolors. I have some, but they're like really bad. So I thought I would try these out from Target. It was like $10 for this whole thing. I got some watercolor paper. I don't know if that... I mean, it probably does make like a huge difference, but I don't have watercolor paper, so. I got this book, Beach Read, which I've heard a lot of people talk about, and it was only $7 because online, $7, so I just price matched it. It was literally $7.30. Really excited about this. I got some cookies because I'm sad, and that's what I feel like I should do. I also just got like some bananas, spinach, fruits and stuff, you know. I got this towel. We have like three of these. I really like this color. I wanted to get like a fourth one just so it was like an even number. I don't know. I don't have any reasonable logic for this stuff that I bought. But I have three of them and I wanted a fourth one. So they're only $4. Got more dessert hummus. Also, I didn't get these. But I got these like weeks ago. They're just pink like biker shorts. The thingy was still on it, like the little red thing. So I had to take it back. I kept forgetting about them. They took it off for me. So now I can wear them. I'm sweating. This girl like complimented. She was just like, oh my God, your hair's so long. And I was like, do I say thank you to that? Like I don't know how to respond. Oh. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Day. One cool thing is when you come home from the store and realize that you have one roll of toilet paper left. Oh, this this uh, sweatshirt is really wrinkly. Not gonna lie, I got the idea to get new uh, watercolors. Try watercoloring again from Emma Chamberlain for her new video that she posted today. It inspired me. God damn. <gasps> You're lying. This is what happens when you don't read the freaking package. It literally comes with a watercolor pad. I <laughs> have. I mean, I'll try this out and then it comes with a lot, kind of. This might be fancier kind, a fancier kind. I'm gonna try it on here and then if I like it, I'll keep that. If I don't, I'll just return that. You might need water. 
Wow. Let's look at my brushes. Brushes are cute, actually. I think my issue before when I tried watercoloring was I wasn't using the proper paper. Have you guys watched... Okay. Have you watched Gossip Girl, the new one? Because I don't know how I feel about it. Like, the last episode that was released, it started to get, like, a little bit juicier. I don't know. I feel like it needs to be more. Gossip Girl was all about the drama and the crazy shit and that's just like not really happening i also kind of don't like any of the characters they all kind of just suck other than like max but it's really making me want to rewatch gossip girl i think it's about that time i did start rewatching over the garden wall though because that's my autumn staple so loud i was watching manifest and painting and i'm gonna show you guys what i painted really quick first thing don't really know it's supposed to be like a nice little sunset vibes with like some flowers and a little lake i kind of like it then um this was supposed to be like flowers i was gonna like layer them to look like actual just like flowers i kind of gave up on it i'll probably finish it later this is some leaves that i started that i also will probably finish at a different time and then i did a pumpkin i have to fix it because this side's like darker than the side it's kind of cute i like it yeah that's what i painted i am about to go to sleep i'm feeling really sad and i don't know why i need to like sit with my feelings for a little bit and figure out why i feel like this i love you guys thanks for watching this vlog and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys I weirdly feel like a sense of nostalgia, but for the future. What is there a word for that? I literally feel like sad about stuff that hasn't happened yet. <laughs>